Good day and welcome to Partakers Wednesday Worship on the 24th of August 2011. Come, let's worship. Let's start today with this prayer. O God, O Creator of Light, at the rising of the sun this morning, let your love, the greatest of all lights, rise like the sun within our hearts. We praise you, O God, that you are a community of love. We come now to worship you, O community of love, Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Let's sing together. Well, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. We will now have our Bible readings. Our Old Testament reading is from Psalm 119, verse 41. Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. Our New Testament reading is from John 14 verse 21. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them, and I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. The world is in love with love. Love sells everything, but what, or rather, who started love? God did. The Bible tells the story of this God of love, and we are going to very briefly in our time together talk about this great subject. Perhaps more books are written about the love of God than anything else. How is God love? For starters, God is a trinity or triunity, that is, God is a living, vibrant, and dynamic community of love. Every activity of this trinity is an expression of love. God loves because that is his very nature. God the Father loves God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. God the Son loves God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit loves both God the Father and God the Son. A perfect community of love. God's love is described throughout Scripture, from Genesis to Revelation. Here is a brief description. God's love is unfailing, everlasting, intimate, sacrificial, unbreakable, all-conquering, personal, great, immeasurable, and all-knowing. How is God's love seen? It is seen supremely in the cross of Jesus Christ, when he died for the sins of the world. Supreme love 
overcoming all that is not love. It's seen in the love that people have for others. When you hold somebody's hand or give that telephone call just to say hello, that is love. Even with all the acts of evil in the world, love is all around. You can see it at the arrival halls of airports where family members meet each other. You can see it in the cafes where friends meet for conversation. You can see it as couples get married. Love exists even in the middle of that chaos, turmoil and hatred. Yes, there are people filled with hatred and commit acts of unmitigated evil. But even those people have experienced love of some kind at some point, despite their not remembering it, being aware of it, or even in spite of it. Even if it was the guiding hand of their parents to alert them from danger, or the greeting of a close friend. Going further, the love of God is seen when Christians who proclaim their love of God love other people. Churches are also to be enabling radical love in their communities. Not a love which is impractical, but a love which is self-sacrificing. A love mirroring that of Jesus Christ on the cross. It is by helping supplying the practical needs of others, even to the point when it hurts to give. The supreme way of showing you love God is in your giving and serving of other people in the church and outside the church. But this love is not wishy-washy. Love is tough. When Jesus died on that cross, that was tough love as he died. Jesus Christ is God's love personified. Love involves discipline, such as the guidance of a parent stopping their child from putting their hand on a hot pan. Avail yourself of God's love today, and more importantly, show the love of God to others today. A kind word, a surprise gift, or a helpful act. God's love releases us from the things that entangle our daily walk with him. The more you hold on to God's love, the more you will desire it, and the more it will be revealed in your life. Put your love in action today and reflect God's sacrificial love in action on the cross. Go and love to the glory of God. Loving not just in words but also in practice. Loving everybody that you meet with practical love for this reveals a loving God in action. By loving others we help heal this broken world we live in with all its traumas, natural disasters and conflicts. Love. Go. Love. We now have a time where you can offer your own praises and prayers. Let's pray and praise together. Father God, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children, for we ask them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Amen. We close today with a sung doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all. Here below, praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. See you next time on Partakers. Remember, go and show God's love to somebody else today.